semi-final, the Dean taking on the Lions. I'm here with Lions, Nuffy. Liam Ben, Gamp, Dutch, how are you, mate? Good. This is the first Lions we have a bench this year, for the last three years, so good one to come to. It's a win. So, you're just a, uh, just a bit of a turnco, just hop up on the team's winning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, missing some key personnel. Do you have any confidence in the Lions tonight? Yeah, we're going to win. Easy as that. <laughs> I'm a die-hard supporter and we're going to win. I'm very nervous. Everyone keeps saying it's a bit of a foregone conclusion for the Ds. I'm not so certain. I think this will be a bit of a scrap. I'm not, I've lost all my confidence in my footy club. I just want us to get a start. I, I want to take on the cats in a free league. It's the difference. True supporter, not a true supporter. You're a confident man. All right, well, I'm going to back us in either way. I'm going to go the Ds by 15 points. What's your tip? Go the Lions by one point. Jesus, that would absolutely destroy me. It is all about to kick off. A couple of sort of uh, traditional ceremonies to uh, RIP the Queen, and then we're into it. Semi final the D's and the Lions. Come on, D's. formalities are out of the way and here we go do or die there is no tomorrow Pretty decent ball movement by the D's. Looking in board, switching the play. It's landed in Langdon's lap. He's going to have a kick for the first goal. through the corridor, changed the angles, went the switch. This is something we haven't seen for a long, long time by the Ds. They've come out with an aggressive approach with the ball movement, and it's paid off with the first goal of the game. Come on, Nibla. On the air. Go, Ds. Alex Neil Bullen kicks the Ds second. Two goals, 2-14. The Lions, 0-1-1. This is the perfect start. This is what we've been after. This ball movement is scintillating. So, so far so good, early in the first turn. Come on! Good boy! JP Maltram had a bit of a nightmare last week. But a great start today, he's kicked the D's third. 15 minutes into the first. Maybe not a mark. <laughs> Aura, they got a free kick straight down the middle, got a free kick in the goal square. I think Gills uh, tapped the umpires on the shoulder and it's to keep a few more of the Victorian teams in there. Oh, I don't mind it, Gill, big bias. Um, great mark, great goal, great start. A couple of the lesser lights getting their hands on it as well, so this is the perfect. This is what yeah, every D's fan would have asked for. Come on, D's. Charlie Cameron. Kicks a snag. It's only a 15 point margin for all the dominance. We've lacked some real conviction on the scoreboard. That is his first goal against the D's this year, I reckon, and we'd want to keep him quiet in a game like this. Swamp, giving me the stats all game, like I've never watched a game of footy before. Well, Pig's had his measure, but that's, um, yeah, we really don't want to let Charlie Cameron get off the chain. That's a little bit disappointing. The time here at the MCG, the D's are 3 6 24, the Lions 1 3 9. They almost got on top for the last sort of five minutes of that term. Um, so far, so good. Can't complain with the start. Potentially would have loved to get on the scoreboard a little bit more. Um, left a couple of goals down on the park, but cannot complain with that first term. We've just got to keep it up. Cosy Pickett, something from nothing. Bit of a stagnant second term at the minute. Um, pulled something out of the rectum, sort of uh, gets the blue style. No, you can't need a 20 metre kick, I don't think you're going to beat the Demons. Uh, they were almost pressing there for a little bit, the Lions, but that was a nice, handy little settler for the Ds. Eric Deal marks in Eric Deal territory. I reckon I've seen him land a couple of these against the Ds across the journey. He'll kick from 51 metres here from downtown. Bit of a weird term where we've sort of had a couple opportunities to go quickly and we've sort of muffed a handball or ran too far, given a free away. 
and it's cost us a couple of goals, but that was a great mark by Fritter and a great snag, and one that relieves a little bit of pressure because the Lions were coming there for a couple of minutes. Quality coming from Cozzy Pickett. Again, the lead is now out to 28 points, I believe. Finally starting to get it on the scoreboard now. Quality coming, quality finish, and just before half time as well, so very, very vital stuff. Half time here at the MCG, the D's lead by 22 points, six goals, 8 44, to three goals, 4 22. One late one to Archie. Was it Archie that kicked it? Late one to Archie, reduces it to 22 points. Pretty good turn there by the D's, just chipped away at the lead. Um, Chief Wipkin. We've lost from this position a couple of times this year from 20 points up. Just need to start well. I, I just want to see us see out the third quarter, have that gap, and then just cruise home. But um, any Melbourne supporter seeing at home knows that we have coughed them up from this position before. So this third term will be massive. Hopefully we can withstand a bit of the Brisbane Lions heat and we can get to the third quarter knowing that we're almost there. Big term coming up, come on Dean. Eric Hipwood has fired up the Lions. They've kicked the first of the third very, very quickly. So they kicked the last couple in a row here. It's back to 16 points. Come on Dees. Charlie Cameron kicks the Lions third in a row. Oh dear, this is how we lose. This is how we, how we lose all our games is by being up by 20 and then just stopping. We can sometimes get stuck in the 60s but we're currently stuck in the mid 40s. Come on, D's. Need to find the next. Eric the Eel for four in a row for the Lions. Four in a row for the Lions, reduces it to five points. I hate, no Lions. I hate my life. Oh, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. The Lions reduce it to a point. Good kicking's good footy. We've missed so many opportunities. And it's been all Brisbane the last quarter and a half. So it's the same story, the same situation. Lead by 20, and we just can't hold on to it. We're going to have to really grit our teeth the last quarter and a bit here because the Lions are coming home with the wettest of sails. We've missed multiple chances going forward. The lights have turned off at the G. Bailey Fridge marks directly in front. He'll kick from 50 metres out, simply must take this opportunity. Biggest kick of the day for the Dees. Come on, Fritter. Go, Dees, come on. Late, late goal to the Dees, much needed. We get the one, one goal buffer back. The Lions have come home strong all term. Sets up for a really interesting last term. Harrison Petty getting booed by the Lions supporters. I'm not quite sure about that nonsense. Oh. Finally, we needed that. Come on, Dean. Two late goals against the Tide. Alex Neil Bullen kicks his second. Great contest by Ben Brown. We literally needed that. We're on the ropes there for a minute. I don't know how long's left of this third term, but the MCC is going wild. Come Darcy on, Darcy Fort lining up to answer back. Late in this third term. That 5-0. 5-0 oh from, from set shots this year. Late in the third term, has nailed it! <laughs> Three quarter time and Eric Hipwood has kicked another one. All even. That was like a six goal to one or two quarter. Disgraceful. We fall apart after half time. It's been happening for a long, long time. So frustrated. If you go on trends about like every game we've lost, we don't get home from this sort of situation. So, super, super frustrating. And we're gonna have to dig deep. Free kick to Daniel McStay, top of the square, to give the Lions a six point lead. Start of the last. Gussie Brayshaw runs it home. Great goal from 50. It is so loud here. Down by two points. Got to find a way. Come He's on, living in the Lions for 50 start of this last. They are peppering the goals, but they can't quite find the shot to give that gap. Zach Bailey has marked to give the Lions a nine-point lead halfway through the last. 
Nine point lead to the Lions, halfway through the last of the semi. He shoved Jaden Hunt in the back. So Bailey is clutch in these moments. He's marked it off his mouth. Lions probably home, you think. Midway through the last, living in it, side our forward 50. But we just simply can't get it going. Eric the Eel gets it out the back. Takes a bounce. Takes another bounce. Long to Charlie Cameron. Two marks. Charlie Cameron to ice it for the Lions. Sums up our season. Sums up our back half of the year. We're done. We're shot. The Premiership defence is over. Two late consolation goals. Your field of the Ds. There's about two minutes on the clock. It would take some serious bang, bang, bang brigade sort of stuff to get it done, but I don't know. Daniel McStay of all people. They've done it. <laughs> Operation Defend the Flag. That, folks, is how the cookie crumbles for season 2022. We tried to defend the flag and we couldn't. We've been bundled out in straight sets by a supporter base that was booing Harrison Petty. That's, that stinks. That certainly stings. Um, yeah, super, super frustrating result. But to be honest, at half time when we led by 22, I had utmost faith that we would get rolled over. And it has happened. A lot this season, we've been leading by 20 or so points. I think every game we got rolled in, we were leading by 20 points in one way or another. Um, and then just couldn't hold on. So when we were sort of even with teams at three quarter time, sort of 15 to 20 points up, we would consistently get chased down. So I think the boys need a big pre-season. Um, and another thing that was sort of frustrating towards the back end of the year, we were, just so banked up like that second half of the season fixture was brutal and it took a toll on us and um, I know our injury list looks good on paper but there were so many boys carrying carrying some injuries in the back half of the season um, so it felt like we limped to the, the finish line we got second um, but we just didn't have that power and I know for little patches we could put on three four five goals but we didn't do it enough this season um, in saying that it's been one of the funnest years I've ever watched the Melbourne Football Club I think we only lost six six times throughout the season or maybe seven times so um, even though it's been sort of frustrating and we haven't lived up to our own lofty expectations it's definitely been one of the best years I've ever had being a Melbourne supporter I am going to wrap up the vlog here guys that is it for the game day vlogs this season I really appreciate everyone hopping on board and getting around them again this season. It's one of my favorite pieces of content to do throughout the year. Um, I really do appreciate the support. I really appreciate everyone tuning in. I will see you next year, round one, for the day's next Premiership Assault in 2023. Cheers, guys.